What are things like here at the uh, Log Cabin Republicans booth at the LA Pride Fest? Uh, I'd say it's a lot better. Uh, last year, LA Pride kind of sold out to the resist movement, and uh, it was disappointing because there's a rich history of, uh, of Pride traditions in Los Angeles. Uh, parade, um, a nonpartisan theme. And last year, uh, the march was canceled, or the uh, parade was canceled in favor of a march. And the, what the kind of march? It was the resist march. What were they resisting? That's a very good question, because uh, it's not clear which uh, which Republican policies or which Trump policies actually have harmed most of the LGBT community. Um, in any case, this year is much different. I think uh, people have had a chance to cool down from the uh, loss of the presidential election, and uh, all of the feedback we're receiving from everybody who's coming to our booth has been positive. They've been very interested in hearing, why are you an LGBT Republican? Uh, why, are you, why do you have a booth here? You guys exist, really? And they're willing to listen and, and learn. And we've had a lot of good conversations today. Um, I, I appreciate the feedback we've gotten. Just to, for clarification, for people who aren't familiar with the group, so what does uh, Log Cabin Republicans uh, represent? So Log Cabin in general has been described as the LGBT Republicans. We're Republicans who believe in LGBT equality, uh, particularly when it comes to uh, our influence in the Republican Party, promoting uh, equality and policies that uh, benefit LGBT people. Uh, and then concurrently, outreach to the LGBT community. There are actually a lot of people who are lesbian or gay or bisexual or transgender who identify as Republican and vote Republican. And I think those people are lost in the general conception of uh, the culture wars. So our job, as we see it, is to uh, build a community of those people who identify as Republican and LGBT uh, and promote the message that you can be Republican, you can be conservative, you can believe in certain values like limited government, lower taxes, you know, down the line, and still be LGBT. Um, do you get any uh, any flack from uh, from people outside the fair? People outside the fair? No. Um, uh, on our Facebook page, yes. Uh, anything that's that's really public. You know, you'll get the, the trolls and the haters who really don't understand policy, but think that, uh, you know, you're a walking contradiction. Um, I'd love to hear those people explain why they think that is. But again, it's more thoughtless hate than anything, and uh, it's pretty easy to ignore when it's a random person on Facebook you never have to deal with again. Um, is there anything that you would say to uh, a detractor, someone who would say, hey, I don't think that the presidency or this this administration, but uh, the, the president in particular uh, has uh, a gay rights or gay equality uh, on his agenda. What would you say? Uh, I'd say look at his record. Um, with the single exception of the, quote, trans ban in the military, which is not nearly as extreme as it's been made out to be in the media, uh, Trump has not done any of these terrible things that we were warned he would do. Um, there's been no anti-LGBT laws passed. Um, uh, the uh, uh, gays are still welcome to uh, uh, serve in the military. Um, just up and down the line, none of these terrible, terrible things that were, we were warned were going to happen have happened. Uh, and in fact, uh, President Trump uh, appointed one of our members, our LA Log Cabin members, Rick Grinnell, uh, as ambassador to Germany. It's one of the highest ranking ambassadorships in the world. And he gave it to a gay Republican uh, who's openly gay. You can go read uh, the media reports, look at the photo of him being sworn in with his uh, partner holding the Bible uh, by Mike Pence which uh, I'm surprised that photo didn't get more media attention because it destroys the entire narrative that the Trump administration hates LGBT people. And I remember two years ago people telling stories about gays being put in concentration camps if, uh, if Mike Pence were elected vice president. It, it's a joke, you know. It, 
nothing, nothing has changed. Um, that said, speaking of the concentration camp issue, uh, every year at Pride when Log Cabin does a booth, we try to bring attention to another issue. Um, and this year we partnered with Rainbow Railroad, which is an organization based in Canada that helps uh, LGBT people flee Chechnya, where people are actually being persecuted and murdered for being LGBT. Um, Nikki Haley gave a great speech about that. We actually have it posted in our booth, the speech that she gave at the UN about the terrible atrocities that are being committed in Chechnya against LGBT people. Um, so that's another thing we're trying to do to just uh, show the LGBT community that the Trump administration is doing things for us. Isn't Chechnya largely Muslim? Is that a Muslim against homosexual issue? I wouldn't blame it entirely on Muslims, but it, uh, any any place where you get a hyper-conservative group of people that have certain beliefs about gays without a strong uh, foundation of uh, liberal government, liber capital L, liberal government, you run those kind of risks. Um, and sadly, that's happened in Chechnya, and Russia isn't doing much about it.